I am so relieved to get this rain. We had a massive and beautiful air clearing storm last night. You know, cracking and rumbling and I sleep so much better after it. And this morning we've got about, according to the weather app, four hours of this. This is just absolutely beautiful. You can see here how dead everything is. And what's amazing is it just pops back to life afterwards. It isn't going to cure the drought, but it's going to really help all the firefighters locally who are just putting out one fire after the next. And as you can see, I have forest right up to the edge of my garden. I don't need forest fires. How gorgeous! Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Frugal Queen in France where we share all things thrifty, frugal and money saving. And every Sunday we share some everyday aspect of our life. And this week has all been about the drought. The drought in France is the worst it's been in so many years. I can't even remember. It's been horrific. In some areas of the country, rivers have dried up and it is just, just dreadful. So take a look of our experience of the drought. <laughs> something I wanted to share with you and I'm going to draw it with my finger the outline of where it is this is not a pond this is not water that we've put there and this water level stays constant meaning even in this dry weather it's filling up what this is on our land is a water source it never drops, it never goes below this level. Where this is all green around here, this is all grass floating on top of it because Mike has been strimming all the way around it. Um, we are not allowed at the moment to take water from the river or from a well or a water source. And how frustrating is that? Because as you can see, it is completely full. It's no deeper than this in the winter, it's no less than this in the summer, it's always like this. I do like to share the little behind the scenes and here we are with a water source. been right round the edge of this spring with a garden rake pulling raking out as much weed green algae and anything else I can possibly get out of here and I really am looking forward to the 30th of September when allegedly all of this drought is going to be over we'll be able to use water again because our intention is to drain this with a pump into the swampy bit down there and get in there with our shovels and clear it out. When I'm raking it out, it is full of fallen leaves and it's all smelly and yucky and I want to clean it all out because next year I want to make it bigger so we can catch more water. So if we're not under drought restrictions, we have got another water source to use. It's about about two foot deep and at the bottom of this we know there's gravel and there's water coming up and as you can see here it looks full doesn't it this is the worst drought in 30 or 40 years if not longer and it's still full 
So, like I said earlier, it's not a pond. We dug up a swamp and water came out and it's a, it's a water source. And uh, I'm gonna keep out, I'm gonna go in now. I'm getting a bit hungry, but I'm gonna go in now. And tomorrow, just like this, because I've really enjoyed doing this, I'm gonna try and get in it, even if I get all dirty and pull all the rest of the weeds out because I think we can clean this water supply up as best we can without pumping it out. This is the strangest type of gardening, isn't it? Like I said to you earlier, this is a water source. And as I'm walking along the edge here, and it was dry previously, it's getting wetter and wetter. So I'm on a slope and it's called a seeping spring. So this is just where it breaks ground and the rest of the garden in the winter and normally right up until May is sodden. It's like a bog walking all through this bit of the garden. So we, we know there's a water source here. We haven't found the source of it yet, but this is where it breaks ground here. And as you can see, it is full of green algae and it's really smelly. And the reason I've been cleaning out the algae as best I can is to stop this smell. And it smells like rotten eggs, not rotten eggs, rotten cabbage. So it's pretty unpleasant. But this, this spring, this pond, this water source really, really attracts loads of wildlife. The ducks love it, the deer love it, and um, it's teeming with insects. So. I'll do my little bit and just try and keep it clean and keep the cabbagey smell down. It's not a it's not a pleasant job at all, but it's a good workout. And even though it's the first thing on a Saturday morning here, whew, it's warm. <laughs> Well, I thought I'd share this very sad sight with you. This is all that's left of the river at the bottom of our garden. Never ever in the four years we've been here seen it this low. And we're under drought restrictions, we can't use any of this water and nor should we, it's not right to, it needs to flow into communal bodies of water. So let me just show that to you. You can see there how incredibly low this water is. Um, such a sad sight, it really is. Friday morning when I'm filming this and it's a beautiful bright and sunny morning as it is too and I'm out in the garden at about eight in the morning because by nine it'll be way too hot to do anything so I come out at this time of day just to pick any weeds up pull any weeds that I can out of the garden maybe within about half an hour I'm going to start a little bit of lawn mowing whilst it's still cool enough and this time of day 
We take all the water that we've saved, all of the shower water that we save, stand in a builder's truck when we're taking a shower and we save that water and then we just keep it in a big receptacle. We've got like a big water container, um, a small water bat that we've bought recently. And then at this time of day, I get it out here on my young plants. So we're using gray water only. So we're in the middle of drought restrictions and they've absolutely tightened it. Now the only water that you can use, fresh water for watering your garden is for vegetables, for your vegetable garden. I think they understand that people, some people their vegetable garden is their food, all their food. And they understand that here. They understand the rural life about that. And the restrictions are about clean water. So you're not allowed to take water from a well. And a well is something deemed clean enough to drink or pure water or good water. You're not allowed to take water from rivers. Again, clean water, good water. And as, as you've seen in the video, we do have a water source and it is far from clean. And we're gonna make an effort, a real effort this year to get it cleaned out so it can be used. I think it's just too silted up, too muddy at the moment for even for a fire appliance to come along and draw water from it. And I don't even know if they know it's there because it isn't on any of the maps locally, but there's a definite water. There's definitely water there. So that's my routine in the morning and it's just desolate out here, but it's still at this time of day, it's beautifully cool. It's about 22 degrees out here. It's lovely. And I have to remind myself when it feels cool like this, that in the winter, it's always my aim to get the house to 22 degrees. So we stay warm. So there we go. Morning routines, saving the shower water, getting it out here on some of our plants and just checking the place over really and of course enjoying this beautiful cool morning Well, it's Sunday morning and we've got this rain all morning, fingers crossed. And I hope it just settles in the garden a little bit. It did rain heavily overnight, but it didn't really make a shot of difference to the river at the bottom of our garden, which is near a now trickling tiny stream. Take a look at that. Isn't it absolutely lovely? Just rain and fresh. Go on, everybody. Give the rain a thumbs up. <laughs> It's so, so needed here in France. It really, really is. We love to hear all your comments. If you live in a dry climate and you collect water, tell me about it. How big are your rainwater collecting tanks? Because we're going to invest in some. Because we get water some parts of the year. We're not used to droughts. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.